Welcome everyone to another Chaos Africa weekly meeting. Um, thank you for joining us today again. And today is going to be fully packed day because we have a lot of things to go over. Like we have a workshop and we also have some other things that we discuss. I'll, I'll put the, the agenda in the chats. You can add your names, uh, add also the question for today is it's 2050 and you're writing your autobiography and what would be the title? So let us know what your title would be. So I, I think our facilitator today is um, Joynell. So I'll just hand over to Joynell. Okay. Hi, everyone. Um, welcome to today's meeting, and I hope you're doing fine. So um, we'll start with welcoming the newcomers. So um, if you're a newcomer, we welcome you to our bi-weekly meeting, this Chaos Africa, and we love to have you here where we get to contribute in any way we can and excellently at that also. So I don't know, um, sorry Ruth, I need to unmute their mics and introduce themselves or we yeah, just- usually, but I, I don't see any new person. So <laughs> I think we can move yeah. on to the next thing. But I think Noel is joining this call for the first time. I think so. Noel, correct me if I'm wrong. This particular uh, no, no. Uh, except this is not for designer. I think the first one I attended was for designer. So it is a general yeah, this one. Is general, yeah, it's a general one. Yeah, yeah it's my first time. Oh, welcome. Just give us like an introduction of yourself and what you do. Okay, um, my name is Noel, I'm a product designer and also an open source contributor. So I got here through Roots and um, here I am. Okay, welcome Noel, we are excited to have you at Chaos. Obviously, I know you've already said familiarizing yourself with the design community in Chaos and Welcome again. So um, today we'll be having Journey in Chaos. Um, last two weeks, our last meetings, we had um, two persons also tell us about their Journey in Chaos, Adenka and Anita, who told us about their Journey in Chaos. And today we'll be having Kingsley and Enoch sharing their story of how they started their very first contribution and how it has been contributing to the chaos community. Um, Kinsley, are you here? Okay, Kinsley is not here, but Enoch is here, so we could start with Enoch. Hi, yeah. Enoch, how are you doing? Enoch. I was still looking for the unmute button, but also still crafting my my message that would be said about me in 2050 or 50 years from yeah, now. Yeah, I'm still thinking about my. <laughs> let, let me stop there. I think that's enough. I've, I wanted to add on more. <laughs> Hi, Enoch. Nice to have hey. you. How are you doing? I'm fine. Nice to have you too. Join us. I like the name. Thank you very much. Happy six. Yeah, I'm excited to share about my journey in chaos. And um, hmm, I think, um, Ruth, am I right to say I'm the second oldest in chaos in this meeting? Or that's a wrong assumption? Sir, what do you see? Am I the second oldest in chaos in the participants in this meeting? Did you say all best? So, uh, the oldest, second oldest. Oh, second oldest. Hmm. Who will be the first oldest? <laughs> you, I found you here. 
Okay, um, so um, I don't know if you know Anita. Anita, yeah. Yeah, okay, so I think you'll be deterred. <laughs> uh, I'm feeling, um, what should I say? Heartbroken. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, so um, I've been in chaos now for nine months. I joined chaos in January of this year. And um, how I joined Chaos, I was um, looking for also an open source community to contribute to. I really had a lot of them that were around um, like eight. And I tried um, going through all the all of them, trying to attend their meetings. And also some that didn't have meetings, I was trying to understand the technologies. Um, I was also in um, their conversation platform. Some used Discord, some used Jita, some used um, Zulip, some even were using IRC chat rooms and um, Slack too. But in all of them, I found um, welcome in chaos because um, there used to be a lot of activity that used to be happening um, in the Slack channels. Um, and also the response was first. And um, some of also what pushed me to actually stay in chaos was um, the community calls and um, not only the community calls, but the openness in very many other calls. Um, I realized um, it was easy for me to access the information I needed to bond with the people in chaos and also to be recognized. Like, you know, you enter um, a certain open source community and people are talking about things that you're not really familiar with and no one wants to know whether you've understood or you are on board or not. So um, after my three weeks in January, while I was looking for a community to be part of, I settled down to chaos because of their inclusivity and how they were um, active in their Slack channels. At least you would know that you're interacting with, with human beings, not actually a project only. So um, from that time up to now, I was able to facilitate my first meeting after I think a month, I took on the courage to facilitate a DEI meeting. Um, and um, also, I, it took me really long because I should say I was the best advocate who was complaining too much of how, how information is very misplaced in um, chaos because I used to look for information, but it used to take me in circles. Even after the circles, I used not to get what I wanted. I realized there was too much, which was not really um, structured and very confusing. That used to force me to attend um, community calls every Tuesday. And during those calls, um, sometimes I used to be there with um, with Elizabeth, which even sometimes now I I sometimes just log in to check how the committee calls are, and I find myself I'm with Elizabeth. Uh, so we use the time to chat about things concerning the budging <laughs> as we're waiting for other people. But um, I, I while I was looking at all those documents, I really didn't have time uh, to, 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 to understand them. So I made use of um, the community calls and the working groups. And um, I ended up um, falling in love with the DEI working group and also the content um, working group that um, manages all the content that goes around our digital platforms. And um, that's in the DEI, that's when I settled um, to the budging review. And since I had um, a software background, I think um, right now I'm the default maintainer of the budging bot, mm -hmm. because um, at that moment after I went through the budging bot, there were a lot of reviews I made and um, some of them were incorporated. And um, the maintainer at that moment was Mart Cantu, um, really did have time and he was like, you know, and I'll come, let me give you access to everything you need and um, I trust you're going to do well. So that trust alone that he gave me even when I was a newcomer gave me a lot of um, confidence and a lot of, um, a lot of, I, I should say, a name to keep and a professional, um, professional work to do. So up to now, I should say I, I'm happy to be in chaos because I can't say how much I have learned. I've gotten a lot of experience and working with the budging, um, budging project and also the DEI working group it has given me a lot of exposure. Currently, I'm now contributing to Brimo Lab actively, um, which is um, also our, a chaos um, project, um, a library that is almost um, equivalent to Agar. 
And I should say, I think I'm going to be here for the longest time, as long as I still have time on me, because it's fun being here. A lot of things are coming up. I can't wait to participate in all of them. So I have a little whole book to write, but I'll yeah, stop that, there. That's really nice. And I'm, I'm about to say, how did you leave me in the dark and go ahead to contribute <laughs> to more lab? I think that's, that's <laughs> our hope one of that day. <laughs> I think it's uh, it's self drive and also curiosity, because I should say frankly, I have tried contributing to Aga, but there are two things I had issues with. Um, Sean, who is the main maintainer of Aga, was really sometimes very unavailable. And um, as you know, um, I used to ask him or um, ask the whole community about some information, but it would take it would take long to have a reply. And then I think along the way, I got a frustration because the whole code base was just too big to chunk down. And um, I attended um, some of um, the calls that he scheduled, whereas some of them I was there alone. Some of them I was there with, it's only two of them that I was actually there with him. And then only one where he was there and I wasn't there that I've got to know of. Um, but then I settled down for Grimala because I found out it was... Um, at least um, it had a dedicated team of people and um, it had um, um, an active maintenance. Um, so I think that's how I ended up settling in Grimo Lab, given the fact that um, the kind of things they implement are similar. I don't think I'm losing out because um, if I wanted to contribute to Aga, I'll just shift and um, contribute to Aga. They are almost related and use the same um, data analysis tools. Um, but I'm also still new there, though I think I'm doing it so fast. I'm getting on board so fast. Yeah, that's that's really nice. And thank you for sharing your journey in chaos. And I can remember it like it's yesterday. <laughs> so, and yeah, <laughs> glad to always have you around because you've been doing quite a lot with um, DI badging. And uh, I by next the next meeting would invite you to give a workshop on di badging board so no problem i don't know yeah. how long that would be because i feel it's really now too much <laughs> <laughs> no worries thank you so much you know okay i think kinsey is here now maybe kinsey wants yeah, to go. He is. yeah thank you so much Eno, for sharing i enjoyed thank you, thank you. it was interesting thank you. so Hi, kinsey everyone. Welcome. How are you doing? I'm sad. My network didn't allow me to get what you know was sharing. But I'm oh, fine. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry about that. So you can share with us your journey so Ino could hear you. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite unfair. But it's okay. Thank you, Joyneels. Um, good afternoon, okay. everyone. Uh, of course, if you are West African time. Uh, so uh, my name is Kingsley and I am a product designer. So um, I think I had enough mentioned uh, nine months. I've only been in chaos for, I think, um, three months or so, getting to four months, because I recall messaging um, um, Ruth for the first time. That, that was around June. And um, of course, uh, prior to that time, I've actually tried contributing to um, projects, uh, maybe just join their yeah, um, COVID Discord and all that, just to, you know, know, understand what's going on. Of course, I, you hear about open source, they open source there and all that. And um, of course, you know what it's about. But then the, the problem was always about how do I contribute to this project? You know, and also that was a big challenge for me. So I, I think um, Ruth actually published something on LinkedIn. She put up a post on LinkedIn rather, and uh, I messaged her and she actually replied. I think we had that discussion yesterday. <laughs> Luckily, she replied. You know, so um, that was how she invited me to Chaos um, Slack channel and I joined. And um, I think the first call we had, um, she just walked me through briefly what chaos was about. Seriously, I was confused. I still didn't understand. And of course, I told her the first time I visited the chaos website, I when I saw health and I saw the top banner, I thought it was some kind of medical stuff coming from a scientific background. I felt like carbon chains and all those things on the life website. So um, 
I didn't really understand, you know, what the project meant, but I think what really helped, and I kudos to the team here at um, Chaos, is this community call. So I think um, Tida, the first or second community call, if there was a particular call too, she invited me to join, I joined and I was just listening to the conversation, you know, so I, I think I'm practically just making myself available. So I started just picking little stops, little by little. And um, at the moment, um, I'm actually contributing to, of course, leading the design team here at Chaos Africa. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> so leading the it's design amazing, team. Yeah. <laughs> so leading, for you. Yeah, leading the de design team here yeah, at Scales Africa and um working with the likes of Lamy, I think Noel is here, uh, Toria, and um I think a few delights and so on. So um uh, for me, I think it's been quite an interesting um right i would say and of course i'm still learning this a whole lot i need to learn and um my pain point particularly of course i took interest in that i'm also trying to recently i worked on a document to also help onboard um people in the design focus group because i i noticed that the problem the issue wasn't really about my skill of course there is room to improve on what you know but you know, it was about understanding the project and where exactly do I start contributing to the project. I I, I recall, I think there was a time I tried, I said, oh, is it I'm going to redesign Chaos logo or is it the banner and all that? But, you know, when she brought up the whole issue of um, the badging being done on GitHub and, and all that, you know, and users always having to go to GitHub and, and also coming from a background where like, uh, I wasn't really a super fan of GitHub, you know, I hate it for some reasons, but then <laughs> I was like, okay, why do I have to just sign up on GitHub just to get my events back and why not just have a website? So I think um, that was also something she was thinking about. So that was how the old badging website initi initiative actually came up and currently in progress. So for me, I would say, um, well, um, kudos to uh, Chaos Community for the whole onboarding this thing, but I, I still feel there's still a whole lot to be done regarding that because um, the issue is a lot of persons want to contribute, you know, but they don't know how and how to even start, you know. So that's also what I'm trying to simplify here, you know, in the design focus group. For example, we have documents like I mentioned and you know, so as a designer coming on board, you just going through the documents, you should immediately know how to find your way around and, you know, maybe the design files and everything. So um, that's just about it. And I really, uh, like, I look forward to um, maybe better days ahead and where I maybe be able to do more, you know, and i'm just optimistic so thank you so much for this opportunity to share my three months experience here in chaos africa i think this is where everybody clap for me now <laughs> yeah, <that's really> um... <laughs> you know yeah. like in radio stations they are going to like sh shake that stuff for you and do you <laughs> Yeah, celebrate you get yeah, those kind of things so that's i hope it's not like it's not photo radio photo was there already <laughs> the poor water <laughs> <laughs> okay this is an african space so okay so yeah yeah yeah. Understand. yeah so Sorry, um <laughs> okay yeah so um i believe everybody enjoyed these stories that we've had the journey so far and it's been interesting because me i've even learned for myself and what to also do and it's a great thing that kinsley is even is working on the documentation process for onboarding and i think it will help a lot of persons Ruth, what do you think yeah he has also shown me the doc and that's something i also want to try to adapt in like chaos africa group um, so gradually you get to work on that. So well done, Kinsley. It really, um, you can share the link to the doc here on the chat so people can also see it, even people that are not in the design focus group too. But yeah, it's a really good document. Okay, let me do that now. Thank you, Ruth. I think Chaos, um, uh, Kinsley said 
had made the confession, I also me the first time I browsed chaos, I thought it was about science and things concerning um, laboratory stuff and <laughs> until until I had to attend one of the community calls that I was like, oh, that started opening up. I don't know who put that image on the website, but it clearly shows like- yeah, carbon, We are changing it, don't worry. Sand <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm not the only one that spotted that. <laughs> yeah, even, even Django said the same thing. Like a lot of people said the same thing too. So don't worry, we are changing it soon. It's going to be mm-hmm. all right. So um, our next agenda is um, the Chaos Slag Votes Workshop. And this would be given to us. So the talk will be given to us by Media and Precious. It's a workshop. I don't know if they are around. Media and Precious, please say hi. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, yes we can. can hear you. Hi. I hope I am loud and clear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, we are here. Precious, we are Can I stop sharing? Yes, you can. Okay, I'll stop sharing now. Okay, thank you. Okay, hello everyone. Hi. Um, Hi. I'll be showing you, we all know the repository for the chaos bot, right? Um, can you share it? With it? I'm going to be sharing it. <laughs> Let me okay. okay. So this is the repository. And um, the documentation can be found here. So basically, um, the bot was built with um, Slack Bolt. There's a framework called Bolt, B-O-L-T, and um, we had to use that to build it. We had other options, but some of them have not been maintained in years, so we had to start all over. So we have um, this. I'm going to be sharing the showing the code so people can understand it. But I'll go over to, uh, okay, um, so can you see my Slack um, channel? Yes, I can. Yeah, okay. it's yes. Okay, so, um, so basically, if you send a message, um, I would like to ask, has anyone actually tried out the bot? Well, no, uh, I, I have tried, tried it out myself. I have tried it yeah, out. Tried uh, it I, think of on the day. <laughs> uh, I think I tried it out yeah. only once, the day it launched. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So it's just to welcome newcomers and interact. So since everybody has tried it out, I think Newbie still works on this. Okay, so this is what it does. And um, aside, because everyone has been here, if you're a new person that just joined Slack, the um, Chaos um, community, it will welcome you in your DM and actually give you directions. So it, it doesn't just um, welcome people, or it doesn't just respond to newbies, it welcomes people. And it can welcome you to a new channel also. So I think in maybe next week, you'll be seeing that um, Chaos Africa it will start welcoming you. It can actually welcome people to individual um, channels if we set it up to do that. So um, since everyone has tried it out, I'm going to be showing just um, so people can understand the code. So here we have the components. Um, do we have anyone that knows a bit of Node.js on the call or JavaScript? Ah, nobody. Yeah, I think um, I understand. I've gone through this code to 
and um, it okay. makes sense. Okay, you've seen what is there. So I'll just be showing my live code so that people can get, um, let me share on a bigger screen. In the meantime, while uh, Mide is trying to show it on a bigger screen, the the aim of us having this workshop, initially we wanted to have it like on a separate group, or we thought about having it on a larger group so that um, people will understand how the bot works. And if you even write JavaScript, you can also like participate and contribute to the bot because I think there are also some some new things we need to add to that message that welcomes newcomers, you know, something about um, informing people about the Chaos Africa channel and the Chaos Asia Pacific, like other things we can add to the message so that, so the aim of this workshop is number one, if you write JavaScript, you can, not just people that write JavaScript, also we have the documentation that we can you know, enhance a whole lot of other things. So the aim of this workshop is to help people understand how uh, Mide and Precious built the bots and, you know, how you can participate in it and how you can improve and things that they are looking for doing, looking at doing in the future. So that's the aim of this workshop. Like it's not just for JavaScript folks, but, you know, for other people that are interested in contributing in the Slack bot too. So yeah, Mide, you can go ahead. Okay, so for this, so this is the main app, like the central point, and um, other, all the other actions we're called in. The actions are here in this folder here, under components, actions. So um, to explain what the actions are, they actually how the boat framework was configured. And then we had to think of a way to actually break it down so that people can actually understand the code when they look at it. So this is the app and um, initialized it here. So here it sends, if you type in MIDI in any format, capital, mixed, whatever. And um, it's calling this um, newbie here, which is this file. So, okay, so this is this. So we have the messages, how would you like to get started, like we saw earlier, and all this. So I know it looks like a lot, but um, if you actually take your time to look at it and then go, I to check out both uh, documentation, you would actually figure it out. So uh, before all this was together in one file and it was just too bulky. So we broke it down and had to call this function in here. I hope we are following or I'm, or am I succeeding in confusing everyone? Precious, what's up? Not at all, I'm with you. Oh, oh okay. Especially um, I don't think people. anybody's confused. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so we have um, developed. So all these ones here, if you look at the comments, they undo the button click. You know, that those, that drop down that earlier showed, if you type newbie into your Slack or your systems or anywhere, all those same um, actions like develop, meet and all that, contribute, so this is what calls it. And then the responses are here. Then I said something about joining a channel. So if somebody joins a channel, that this is the code that works for that. And there's a specific uh, channel that we put here. So you can have as many channels as you want, and then you can always do a switch Actually, we have an upgraded version of this that was um, um, customized for Shikode Africa. So they wanted something different. So it's different from this. 
So, and I think a bit more complicated, but it, it just has the same flow. And this is when someone joins uh, chaos. This is the code that um, controls that. Newbie, outreachy. This one was separated because um, I think it was bulky. I just wanted to put it, and then I think um, this one, we were told that it's going to change. Root, is this still going to change? Um, so I, I think there are some things that we want to like maybe enhance, like also the links to like the community handbook, that's going to change soon. So mm -hmm. we're going to, um, those kind of things, um, even informing people that there's like it's spread their local chapters of chaos as well. So they get they are aware. Um, you know, there are a whole lot of couple of things we can keep track of of what to change and how to and people here on this call too can also give in thoughts on what we can improve on in the board. So it's it's an open call. Okay. Um... Okay. I'm listening. Okay, sorry to interrupt. Um, so, um, when when you mentioned the um, the stuff you shared before, when of course you typed newbie, it welcomes a new user. You know, so um, and you mentioned that you're gonna you know introduce that to um, other channels, like so that of course the welcome message would be unique to each channel. So I, maybe um, maybe that's where we can include, for example, now you're welcoming a user to the design focus group channel. So that's where maybe you can include uh, some of the documents you've worked on or who maybe you should reach out to all those information and if you need any help. So oh, okay. maybe if you need some of those information, I can share it later. Yes, we'll think... definitely ask for it. Okay. We'll definitely ask for it or and for it. as many people that want to contribute, there's the technical writing part, the documentation is also a lot. So um we already have something like that, but not for um chaos. So we are looking at expanding chaos instead of a uh, root coming to welcome everyone on a um, how do I put it on the Chaos Africa especially, you just get DMs that you were saying something else. No, no, I just um, nodding to what you were saying. Okay. So it will just welcome people in their DNs and then they will now have access to um, the specific documentation for maybe you want to join um, the front end in Chaos Africa or back end or um, UI, UX, and all that and technical writing. So that, I think that sums up the app and it's hosted on a real cool, but it's not free. This one here, we commented it out, we left it there deliberately. It's actually a code that can send a direct message to everyone on this on the Slack channel, on the on Chaos channel. So in case maybe there is any time you need to send a site-wide message, this is the code that directs that. So you can always change the message you want to send and everyone gets a DM. As long as you are you are in the chaos and community. Oh, that's a really community. nice feature. I think we can use so, it because we are having we are having a survey that will come up um very soon, like a chaos for chaos members. So I think I, I would mention this at this bit. Is something we can do to send like a site um wide message to everyone on the Slack to participate in the mm -hmm. survey. I would I would um connect with you later on this. Maybe that mm -hmm. time we can enable this and send that message. Yes, so that's why it's commented out, and um, because we don't want this is the message that calls it. We can always change it. So for the survey, we change it. So we always try to put something that someone will not think of and put. So we, once we send out the message, we disable it again. So this is what this does. So everyone on the channel, on the um, community gets the direct message. Okay, so um, I think um, 
at this point and i'll be moving on to um elizabeth, uh, elizabeth uh, precious precious will be speaking on the documentation she wrote most of it hi um, precious hi hi okay, precious um hi hi enough um before should i stop I sharing about it, but... share your screen right? um hold on can you talk about the block kit builder in case someone would like to use it yeah that's true okay so i'll i'll show that now um a moment please Oh, I need to find my workspace in Slack. This all done. First, this is the the framework. This is the framework that was used. And it has a lot of um, information. So I think we spent days reading and reading this. So we could figure out how to build it. And um, they have something called a uh, block kit. Let me see. Um, I'm checking the chat. I dropped the link there. I actually clicked on the link just now and it's telling me that I need to um signing or oh, giving me straight when i try to do that just now okay so this is the link to building with uh, how do i show it let me see here okay so this is what it is doing but basically what what this does is that and just it, keep uh, going. okay you say what Click on building block, then click on block kit builder on the side. Okay. Yeah. It will still ask me to sign in. I don't intend to sign in. Oh, wow. Well, okay. Yes. So that's what it's doing. That's what it has been doing. Okay. So what this does is if you go on your, um, on your own you if you click on those things what it does is that it's um it's it has some um, formats like some of these things here it has some formats like if you want to let me try and look for what's the workspace i won't remember chaos is um just a moment let me see so that people understand what i am I'm actually logged in if you want me to just share my screen. Okay, 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 okay. Go ahead and share. Because I was just trying to log in. Let me stop my share. All right. Um mute, so you can take it up from there. Can you see my screen, please? Yeah, we can see your screen. Okay, so this is the block kit builder. It's basically like um a tool that allows you to drag and drop elements that you want to build. It helps if you're not really used to um writing Node.js or something. So, for example, if I want to create maybe um radio buttons i could just click on radio buttons and this is a demo of what it's going to look like and this is the payload so you can just copy the payload right. and paste it in your sorry no, i think okay. someone was trying to join you and then oh, okay. I tried to meet the person okay so this is just like a template of um 
basic radio button. So you could just copy, paste it, and modify it the way you want to suit what you are trying to achieve. So they have a couple of elements here that you could use. Let me try something else. Okay, this is like a button. So you could just copy it from here and edit it to see. Let me try editing something. Yes. Yeah, basically, that's what it does. So it it a helpful tool if you're if you're trying to need to do. Yeah. So this, was this what you 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 guys like used to actually use yeah. part of the blackboard? Okay, for like the UI part. Yeah, that's why we didn't have so many questions for math. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so that's it for the um blockage builder. Let me go to the documentation. How do I hide this thing? Okay. Okay, so this is the um documentation that we have right now. It's like a Google Docs. Um, I think we're thinking of moving it. But I haven't really heard much on that recently. So it just gives like an intro to what the track bot is about, and then basic information, the bot function, what it does, um, and the tokens and scopes that are enabled. Because when you are trying to set up, um, okay, I'm gonna move that. So when you're trying to set up, you're going to need to enable some to, um authentication tokens and stuff like that. Um scopes, sorry, not tokens. Some scopes and permissions. So you need to know what is um the scopes and permissions that are actually enabled right now for the bot, bot to be running. So you know how to set up your dev environment that's for developers. So we have a list of the enabled scopes and permissions in the documentation to help you set up. Then, okay, these are the event subscriptions. Because if you don't enable all of this, the Current functions both has will not be functioning on your local setup. So okay, we also included um a guide for getting started. Uh, most of these things are in the bold documentation. We just had to avoid um sending people back and forth between this documentation and that. We just try to copy most of these things and adapt it in our documentation. So it's, okay. Um, yeah, and then there's the contribution guide. This is also on the, um, the GitHub repo. We just included it there as well. Yeah. Okay, let me finish with this one first. The development guide is also on GitHub. Um, signing notes and then community resources. So that is for this documentation. Let me just go over the, the repo. Okay, so um, the first thing you see is this, this short intro and then the contributing dot MD. So um, there's a guide for getting started. Or if you try to check out the board, check out the documentation, and then you discover something you would like to change or improve, you could just open an issue for it. And um, if you want to contribute, this is the guide. It's basically um, forking the repo on it, um, we follow the development guide and set instructions, which are in the setup.mz. 
So it basically just creates an app. It creates a a workspace for them because um, it can't test in the Kels workspace to be very loudly. So you create a workspace for testing, you create an app, and you just follow the instructions. Just follow the instructions and the set up the the set up your project and all that. So when you're done setting up with the set of the MZ, full of the instructions, install dependencies, create a new branch, make your changes, and the right test if possible. And when committing changes, this is something that um, happens a lot. You might forget to do the sign off. And if you don't sign off each commit, um, the, your pull request will not be able to be merged because it's going to fail the check, the DCO check. So there's a guide for signing off commits. If you're not familiar with signing off commits, so this is it. First of all, you configure your global name, your email, and then you, every time you want to um, sign up on a commit, you just add the S flag, which is associated here. But just in case you forget to sign up a commit and you notice it when you've already made the pull request, you can also fix that um, quickly following this guide. Let me open it. Okay. So this is basically like um everything you need to know about the DCU. I included the link to this in the documentation. So in case you have any issues with sign up, you can see how to fix a failing DCO check here. And, um, okay. Yeah, so after um, signing up for your commit and pushing to your origin, you can make a pull request and wait for it to be reviewed and merged. And so at the bottom of the this document you have resources, chaos resources, um, and then technical resources, the Slack post documentation again, um Slack API and both for JavaScript. So there's a link to the um block kit builder here too, and also link for testing documentation and this for the documentation. I think I will stop sharing my screen now. Okay, that's it. And um, we, are, we welcome contributions from technical writers. I think our documentation needs improvement. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Precious Amidi. Once like for building it first and also um sharing a lot about how people can participate in the bots um i hope like this was this was this gave you some um some insight on how the bot was built and you know how you, you all can help a bit over time um, i think we have like several minutes but does anyone have like maybe we'll take one question for either precious or um midday any question but there's also the slack group um the dev the developers focus group that you can ask more questions there and participate in the conversation too but does anyone have any questions for them so we just quickly rush over the remaining agenda items i don't have a question but i have a submission okay yeah but, um in the board, and I think while we we're trying to present, I and I, I complete my my um, I was um, in the process of also designing um, a board, um, the badging board process. But now that there is already a chaos board, I think um, we should um, use that and try to integrate it. And also in the features, I think in, um, I would create a second bot for something. Uh, the, 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 the idea of creating a second bot actually unnecessary. So um, 
while they were discussing, I was like, I think I'm going to just put on top of what they have actually implemented. If it needs a um, refining, we'll refine it so that I connect um, all the things I wanted to connect through the new bot so that um, at least um, we do not have a lot of things going on um, within um, a lot of things that would be put together for better management. I'm also misplaced. I don't know whether it's a good idea, but now I'm going to look at the repository so keenly to see how I can um, plug in what I want to plug in. My question though is, um, does it have like a, a hosted um, URL? Um, because this also comes in like in form of a U of um, an API kind of web. What URL do you use for receiving web books or it's an internal thing? Okay, so this is built with WebSockets because it is uh, more secure. Mm. So they have the option yeah. of web socket or using URL. So and um, um Matt said we should how, how, do it how, how is it deployed? It's deployed on Heroku. How is it where is it deployed? Heroku. On Heroku. Yes, uh, but um, not the true plan. You could just get me the URL. You could just get me the URL. It's all it's enough. Um, I think it can get it can help me start from how we can uh, look into building I am um, building this to make it a little wilder and bigger. Um, my submission too was um, I think um, it would be good if we had um, anyone who is a newcomer on the Chaos platform. Like the bot would actually would actually introduce itself to them than them trying to. Yes, to, it does that. Once you join introduce themselves the channel, to them. oh, kind of him. Once, once you join, you join it automatically, uh, once you join to... KO, it will introduce itself mm. to you. It does that. Oh, I don't need to type newbie. No, 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 no. Newbie is when you need information. Oh, I think it found me there. That's why it didn't introduce it. So. <laughs> Yeah, you are already here okay, with the that's bot, right. so that's why Enoch. <laughs> Except you want to okay, join yeah. again. <laughs> ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> that's dangerous. Okay, that's all. Okay, um, okay great. Um, I think if anyone wants to participate in the bot, you can, I think... Uh, um, Chica, initially last week you asked about um, you know, how you can participate as a JavaScript developer. So this is something um that will really be of interest to you um to participate in the bot and kind of like improve it. So we can move this conversation to the um to the Slack group. So I think join us. We can talk about the next thing in a few minutes. We have like two minutes, so I move to the next. Okay. Um, the next thing is the Chaos Africa survey. So please would love you to click on the link. It just takes you to a few, very few questions that won't take your time. So you just help us take the survey because we are working on stuff, how to help people on board the onboarding process easier. So please just take the questions and we'll need your answers. Thank you very much. Everyone had like 80. We have we have um about we have about 93 responses so far. So um we are we are looking at getting at the hundred. So if you've not filled That's it, cool. kindly fill the form. I it's think let me open I know Most Enoch has not filled this form. Enoch hasn't filled it. I'm definitely sure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you looking for my survey in particular? <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. yeah, so, I'm, I'm going to yeah. fill in then. I also open up my six account. Yeah, just share it. You don't need it to open up one account. Just share. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just okay. Fill it. Okay, Precious, the open source survey form, the Chaos Africa survey form, it's on the minutes, so you can check there to get the link. But Ruth, if you can drop the link, it would be nice. Yes, I'm, doing, I'm working on that right now. Just drop the link. Okay, okay. sorry to cut so, in. Enoch, I just dropped the link. I've seen it. Okay. 
So um, I think the next thing is, I think we can, I'm looking at, so the end of quarter fun session, I'm looking at doing a Kahoot session, like, I don't know, something fun where everyone could come in and, you know, interact, get to know everyone. That would be like end of quarter, that's by end of September. So if you're in for it, you can, you can give a thumbs up and we'll plan that to the next meeting. Okay. Don't worry, it'll be fun. <laughs> of course it must be. Okay, I, I see so many thumbs up. So, uh, I think in the next meeting, I'll share more details about that. Um, I think we are over time now, so we'll move every other thing. Very sure. To next time. Uh, for next time. So thank you everyone for joining. And thank you so much, join us for hosting. You did an awesome job of facilitating rather. Um uh, does anyone thank does anyone like to facilitate? Yeah. Does anyone like to facilitate next meeting? Oops, nobody. And then I think it's Okay, yeah, someone, someone said something, sorry. I can facilitate for the next meeting. Okay, that's um, Omar, right, Omar? Okay. Yeah. No worries. Thank you very much, Omar. Um, you and can thank play you supporting for... role with Omar. Okay, so I'll put Omar and Kinsley then. Thank you, I'll support Kinsley. Omar. <laughs> okay. Welcome. Okay. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for joining, and would we'll keep conversing in the other meets in the Slack group. Bye, everyone. Bye, bye, Lami. Thank you. Bye, bye everyone. Bye. I think we're done. Um, the next meeting should be um, done. starting. Without that. Good morning, Elizabeth. Good nod. I don't think Matt G is going to be here. Um, he had to, I don't know if you saw his message. He has to take his son to the airport or something. So. Um, uh, I haven't seen the message. Yeah. And okay. I, I'm assuming Sean and... Uh, Jacob are also not coming. So. Right, because they're at that conference. Yep, yep. So I don't know about the others. So we have pretty light quorum today. <laughs> yeah, so right. I think I'm going to be available for the for the second time. Mm -hmm. I will fill in for all those that were supposed to be here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love it. Yeah, this reminds me of sometimes when we have the community calls on Tuesday when I'm with Ruth and then we find ourselves only two of us in the room and instead of um, focusing on maybe what the call is about, we just go into very many other topics that are really not related to the call and yeah, that's how the hour goes and we're like, okay, we spent our time and no one showed up. <laughs> that's what Armstrong and I did at Evolution on Tuesday. <laughs> we just chatted yeah. for like a half an hour. <laughs> You it's know, okay. when when I realized, like, oh, I've, I'm late and uh, I tried to join, I looked at the minutes of the meeting and nobody was there. I didn't bother to join the Zoom. 